Hello everyone, my name is Sylvia Perez and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkgrid Systems. And today I'll be discussing the new automatic border feature available now in SolidWorks 2016 for SolidWorks drawings. So prior to 2016, creating borders was somewhat of a tedious task. Um, you know, if you didn't, if you created something from, you know, some outside source where you were able to save it as a DXF or a DWG, we were able to easily input that into SolidWorks uh, and put it into a drawing and save that sheet format or that border into our drawing. But if you didn't have, you know, that DXF or DWG, you would have to create those borders manually inside SolidWorks through, you know, no more sketching. You know, if you had to do any text boxes or any, any additional entities, you would have to do that in a, as a manual process for your sheet format. But now in 2016, they, automatic, they added this new feature called automatic border. And it streamlines that process in terms of being able now to easily create that border inside the SolidWorks interface. So if I open up just a normal drawing here, and I'm going to actually not include the sheet format uh, border because I want to create it from scratch. So you see that in our sheet format tab, we have a few options. We have always had the option to edit the sheet format. When we do that, we now wake up this option here to create this automatic border. And this is the new feature for 2016. And the whole thing is when we proceed forward here, you automatically see what it does. It generates a border for your drawing. And adjusting the borders and the markers and the offsets is very easy because it's all done through this property manager, almost adjusting it as if you were adjusting, you know, some type of Word document. So you see that we can, you know, increase the number of rows or increase the number of columns, and you see that everything is just automatically gets done without physically having to measure anything out or include it through a traditional sketch. Uh, we also have the option here to adjust the margins if we need to or the offsets off those uh, borders of the drawing and again being able to click on those arrows or actually type it in and override it to a specific value. So, And that's really it as far as being able to create that that border. Uh, you know we also have the option here to kind of uh, increase the the line width, the actual border. You know how thick it's going to look. Uh, we also, we also have the option to you know ch change it from a solid or to a dashed, and we have multiple options within that as well. So we're not just constrained to what it gives us initially. We also you know definitely have more options within the property manager. I also want to point out uh, something that's really cool is now these borders are parametrically linked to these zone lines. And these zone lines are something that they provided to us in 2015. Uh, and now, where before, where we would throw, turn on those zone lines, those markers were not parametrically linked. Where if I needed to adjust, you know, the marker spacing, you know, you see that it wouldn't be lined up as it is now. But now you may have already noticed that when I do adjust the actual columns or you know the rows or anything like that, the zone lines are linked and it will increase you know to match up and line up with the actual border markers so that's really cool because you know we don't have to you know do anything manual it's all automatically done within this menu here we don't need to redefine the grid or the marker spacings or be worried about that for that matter so you see that we can you know create that border very easily uh, within this new feature within 2016 and you see that once we hit OK, we get the border there. You know, it's the actual entity there. We can then ex uh, exit out of our sheet format, and now we have that border available to us within that drawing. We can now save out the sheet format again to a new one or to a pre-existing one, and then save it and link it to an actual 2D drawing. So hopefully you found that this tool is really easy to use and easy to edit. Uh, this will definitely help streamline the process of creating those drawings uh, in order for us to create those borders. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.